That's VMware. With these reports, the Broadcom is in potential talks to acquire the company. Um, uh, first, I guess I would ask, what has gone wrong with VMware? Because uh, I was looking at the stock chart, and it's been languishing really ever since mid-2019. So it peaked a lot earlier than the rest of the sector. Yeah, it's a good question. There's been really three things. One is the Dell divestiture where obviously VMware had to pay a special dividend, for example, to Dell shareholders and spin out. And there was a lot of debate as to, is that a good thing for VMware or is it kind of an issue longer term, even though there's a five year kind of commercial relationship with Dell. And, and then secondly, it's going through a very painful process as a public company of moving from this, um, perpetual business model to both term and cloud subscription. And when in doing so, we've had margins kind of come down, come down, come down, and we're kind of in the worst of it at this point. And so we've said that next fiscal year, not the current one, will be the trough or that we should get the inflection point uh, next fiscal year. And we're currently in the trough part of margins. And so we've just seen free cash flow kind of similar to Zoom have to come down uh, in terms of expectations. And, and so when you're really not growing free cash flow, you're going to be in this kind of 10 to 15 times free cash flow range like VMware has been. And then just the final point is this idea around public cloud. Can VMware actually monetize public cloud workloads as well as it did in private cloud and on-prem? And you know they've got a ton of workloads that they're helping their customers to manage, but you can tell just based on the monetization of, of the workloads that they have, it's just not as big of an opportunity for them as it is on-prem. So you're not necessarily painting a picture of a terribly attractive asset for the likes of Broadcom, at least not at this point. That said, with Michael Dell's 40% stake in VMware, you know, there, there's talk about, um, you know, maybe something like a, what, a 46, well, it's rising today. Do you think he'll push for a higher price than the market perhaps uh, is ascribing to this deal? Yeah, I mean, I'm not as smart as Michael Dell, so I'll let him make <laughs> that judgment call. Um, but overall, when when you look at what VMware um, has done over the last few years, and you know, it is kind of in this kind of trophy part of its transition. Could there be a further push for a greater price? Sure, we've kind of said it should be somewhere between probably 125 to 135 a share, which would get you, you know, roughly 16 times next 12 month cash flow. Not too far off from other acquisitions, um, more so done on the private side, but like Citrix being taken out uh, recently uh, by Evergreen, for example, is, is a similar multiple for a similar kind of setup and story overall. So, you know, we, we don't think it's necessarily, um, you, you don't have too much upside here in, in terms of that range, but, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see where the greater powers kind of put out the price and all of that. and. You know, there are synergies here and talking with my colleague, Harsh Kumar, we went through kind of this smell test behind what Broadcom typically looks for. And, you know, there is a path there to potentially 70% operating margins, which is what Broadcom uh, has done with its CA and Symantec uh, acquisitions together. Uh, but you would need to cut about half of OPEX. So there's a big synergy number being talked about and it would have to, you know, result in 70% operating margins more than likely. Well, we got to leave it there, but I just want to say our editor-in-chief, Andy Sorra, over at Davos actually ran into Michael Dell this morning and he asked him if he had any comment on the transaction to which Michael Dell smiled and replied, no comment. So he's not talking about it today. <laughs> uh, always good to see you here, Jim Fish, Piper Sandler, Director and Senior Research Analyst.